Alright, so this decode today is going to be on 47-year-old Chris Cornell performing at a Masonic Auditorium on the 47th day of the year in San Francisco uh, in a fundraiser for President Obama. We're also going to talk about the, the city uh, of San Francisco, you know, the history of it, and we're going to talk about how the Vatican ties in as well. So in 2012, Chris Cornell performed at a Masonic auditorium, like I said, in a fundraiser for President Obama. This occurred 211 days after Chris Cornell's 47th birthday on the 47th day of the year. 211 is the 47th prime number. That's why that connection is significant. And then the word president equals 47. Because, like I said, he did this in a fundraiser for the president at the time. Of course, the Masonic compass is set to 47 degrees. Modern Freemasonry was founded on a date with numerology of 47. And in Jewish gematria, Mason equals 211. Again, the 47th prime number. This Masonic auditorium that Chris Cornell performed in was in San Francisco of all places, like I said. And San Francisco was named, hold on. Yeah, it was, it was named officially San Francisco in 1847. And it was founded 47 days before the Society of Jesus' birthday. So we know, you know, the Masons, the Society of Jesus, Illuminati, it's all very intertwined. But th this is this connection to the Society of Jesus, you know, an organization that operates out of the Catholic Church, you know, this is significant because San Francisco was named after St. Francis of Assisi, one of the most respected figures in Roman Catholic history. Francis equals 47. And who is our current Pope right now? Pope Francis, uh, the first publicly Jesuit Pope who did indeed choose his name, his papal name, Francis, because of uh, St. Francis of Assisi. But anyways, Vatican equals 47. And in 1929, the Vatican City State was established on 2 slash 11, February 11th, a date written like 211, how we write it here in the U.S. And again, 211, the 47th prime number. And just to add more validity to the connection that I made between the city of San Francisco and the Jesuits. I mean, look right here. Um, the city is home to one of the 27 or 28 Jesuit universities in the country. Um, not only that, but like I've talked about before on a couple of my blog posts and videos, what else was founded in San Francisco? The Church of Satan. And right here is one of my old posts on the Church of Satan uh, and its connection to the Jesuits. So, you know, we know the Church of Satan uh, at least was Jesuit controlled. Guarantee it still is because the Church of Satan's founder, Anton LaVey, died 201 days after his birthday. The big number with the Jesuits uh, as the phrase the Jesuit order equals 201 and then there's so many other 201s I could get into but also the phrase Church of Satan equals 56 just like the phrase Society of Jesus does and 56 is another huge number with the Jesuits but yeah I mean so we know the Church of Satan has been messed with to some degree by the Jesuits. Because what you got to understand is the Jesuits have their hand in everything, literally. And I actually, I didn't even mention this, but when I was talking about the 
uh, Jesuit University in San Francisco, there was some description on one of the um, pages or whatever. It was basically like saying, we do this, we do that, and then it said, <laughs> we influence everything. So just so you can see what I'm talking about right here on the University of San Francisco's uh, page, it literally says our Jesuit roots. Uh, meet our Jesuits. They serve the community, guide education, and influence everything. <laughs> I find I just find that funny. But it's actually something to be taken seriously, but you know what I mean. And it's like, I wonder how they really, whoever typed that, whoever wrote that, I wonder if they, you know, how they meant that exactly, what their intent was saying that. But it, but it's funny because they really do influence everything because you, you study all this, you study history within the last 500 years, you know, they literally influence everything. I mean, they have their hand in, in, so much it's un it's unreal and they are the new world order and that's what people need to understand but um yeah so moving on finally san francisco was founded in 1776 san francisco equals 76 the city was incorporated a span of 76 days before its foundation date the city was also incorporated a span of 76 days after the anniversary of it being named what it is today, of course, San Francisco. Um, and let's not forget that the Illuminati, which is a Jesuit creation, and the United States were both established in 1776. As I said earlier, San Francisco was named after St. Francis of Assisi who was the founder of the Francian Order, which is an order of the Catholic Church. But Francian Order is a phrase that also equals 76. That was all I had to say, short and sweet. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get this knowledge out there because YouTube suppresses me. I'd really appreciate the support. Again, thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.